Bill from Iron Will, and I want to talk to you about vein noise and what factors affect the level of sound coming off the veins. I sponsored and directed a two-year university study where there was over 2,000 hours of computation of fluid dynamic modeling, as well as a lot of empirical testing with microphones downrange, shooting a number of different veins, and many iterations on the design, so trying to understand how to minimize the sound coming from the vein without sacrificing accuracy and stability, which are very important. From the two-year university study, we found that having a very steep front angle on the vein can increase sound, because it's gonna create some turbulence as air flows across that vein. We also found that having a sharp point and a very sharp drop off the back or a shield cut will also create more turbulence and more sound at the back of the vein. So having a little bit longer, more gradual front and an angled back, we can keep that airflow attached, have less turbulence, less sound. We also found that some materials were louder than others. If you had a very weak, very flexible vein, it would create flutter and have higher noise coming off the vein. We found that the medium stiffness to higher stiffness veins would avoid any flutter and stay quiet. In general, the shorter two inch higher profile veins are louder than the longer shorter veins. But we also found that by having a longer lead in the front, you can have a high profile vein, but still have it be very quiet. So from years of modeling and testing, those are the factors that are most important for reducing vein noise, vein sound in your hunting arrow setup.